Greetings, this is Tiombe Mohammed. I am your geriatric care manager, owner and CEO of Greenleaf Healthcare, which is a home care agency, but we are your one-stop shop for all things senior. So, geriatric care manager, what does that mean? So geriatric care managers are your personal nurse to lead you through the process of long-term care. So mom falls, she's in the hospital, and they're like, well, you know, you need to go to a rehab agency. What does that mean? How do I figure out where I need to go? Geriatric care managers can help you through that process. If you live out of town and your mom is in North Carolina and you need to move her to Illinois, we do move management. We can help you with that. Also, being a home health care agency, if we determine that she has care needs past um, what you can handle, then we can send aides to your home so that she can be comfortable in her own surroundings. If you need to move to a facility, we can help with that too. We can make sure that the move to a facility is seamless. We have great relationships with all facilities throughout the area. We're in the Triangle Raleigh Durham area. We also have locations in Jacksonville, North Carolina as well. So down at the coast, we can take care of you as well. So friends, you don't have to go through this alone. We are here to help and support you through this process. Taking care of mom, dad, me, mom, my dear is so important. Greenleaf Healthcare Agency. We wanna help and support you with all things senior. Give us a call. Website, www.greenleafhcare.com. Again, this is Tiombe Mohammed, your geriatric care manager. Welcome to The Woman I Am Today. I'm your host, Kimberly Giss, and I am sitting here with Ms. Tiambe Muhammad, the owner of Greenleaf Healthcare. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. You're welcome. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So um, again, my name is Tiambe Robinson Muhammad, and I um, own Greenleaf Healthcare. So Greenleaf Healthcare is a home care company and it's also a geriatric care management company so that's a new term to a lot of people what geriatric care management is so i am a registered nurse by trade so um, i have been working in long-term care with seniors for the last 15 years of my 30-year career in nursing and um, just have found my niche i am over the moon enjoy working with seniors so, and have worked in all aspects of senior care from memory care, which is Alzheimer's care, to skilled nursing, which is like a nursing home, that's the um, typical term for it, um, or working in assisted living. And I've done um, hospice care, end of life care, and um, treatment nurse, to nurse manager, to director of nursing. So pretty much I run the gamut and then decided that uh, it was time for me to work for myself and stepped out on faith um, and decided to own, open my home, own company. So we started as geriatric care managers where uh, myself and my um, colleagues who are nurses as well are sharing our experiences with people. So basically if um, one of our clients lives in um, Louisiana and the mom is here in a facility and they need help with you know, getting her um, insurance switched over to Louisiana and getting her move closer to them. So we help with move management. They also answer questions because usually, you know, long-term care is a new term for a lot of people being able to know how to navigate um, with a loved one who is um, uh, aging and sometimes it's not so graceful. Sometimes, you know, they need help going to the bathroom. Um, we haven't had those conversations about uh, advanced directives. You know, what happens oh. if uh, mom dies and um, making sure that the will is in place because one of those, one of the things that happens is um, people start to fight over at the assets. And so we want to have those things in place. And those are tough conversations, you know, nobody really wants to talk about those things. So working with the geriatric care manager can help you kind of formulate a strategy for those processes that are so ne so necessary. Right. 
So I, I myself, I have this all, you know, we've dealt with death and, and grief and I am still in my healing process. Mm-hmm. So like, mm-hmm. what, what are some tips or, or advice that you would have for a loved one that is, you know, they've, they've gone through the process, like they've um, had their loved one stay in facility and the passing, yes. and then right. now they're dealing with like that process of, you know, as a caregiver or a family member, mm-hmm. like advice on like how, you know, to grieve well. Right. That's a great term, grieving well. Um, uh, I would say that there is no cookie cutter answer that everybody um, goes through a process differently. And I would say that the continuum of that process is um, not a straight line. You know, you can feel um, one moment great happiness when you start thinking about your loved one and it makes you smile and giggle about the times that you all spent together. And and two weeks later, the same thoughts or those same moments can bring you to tears. And the answer is, it's all okay. It's all okay. I, I find myself um, like trying to figure out what grieving will looks like for me. But I think just being intentional, like I, I'm doing grief therapy as well as mental health therapy. I'm doing group therapy as well as individual. Mm-hmm. So just making sure I, I yeah, take you. care of those grief feelings and as well as like mental and doing it in a group atmosphere where I don't feel alone and there's other people that I can identify with that have gone through the same thing. So I think that is important as well. Um, do you guys offer that service to the the family members like after? So certainly we're we're not mental health professionals, so we don't claim that. We definitely want people to get what they need from the correct professional. So we want to help, um, you know, be a referral source to right. make sure that people get the the professional. Um, but certainly that is, you know, one of our thought processes and we're able to assess whether you are in need of um, services. So uh, we call that there is an assessment that we do about your um, bereavement level, you know, whether your bereavement um, risk is high or low. And so some of the things that we quantify are your support system. So we kind of look to see who's around you, you know, in, in those moments when I was doing hospice um being able to say, are, are there loved ones that are there or are you by yourself? So um, that's certainly a trigger for somebody who's at higher risk for, for not grieving well in that process if they're by themselves. And, and um, making sure plans are in place, you know, there, if there's resistance to making, you know, the funeral plans. Um, if you know that, you know, there's one thing what they say that we can't fight death and taxes. Mm-hmm. So, um as much as we would love for, you know, grandma, mima, auntie, uncle to live forever, those things are not going to happen. And so we want to make sure that um, um, you can just be a family when those moments happen. That's what I kind of tell people that, you know, make the plans now. Do those hard conversations now, because when you're in the midst of a crisis, I mean, you're in the midst of, you know, that that end, you just want to be be there and, yeah. you know, hold each other and cry and um, you don't want to have to think about plans. So, um, and that's a good thing about our service. If the plans are in place, then we can come in and help make those phone calls for you. Um, and so that all you have to do is be a family. Um, so it's really good to prepare mm-hmm. um, and put things into place when you have family members or even like with yourself growing older mm-hmm. and that may be, have to be an option. So my next question is um, young up and coming entrepreneur mm-hmm. or someone that may want to get in the healthcare industry, mm-hmm. what advice would you have for? Her? Well, certainly it is a job where you're always gonna have a job. Um, my friends laugh at me because, you know, when I make transitions, um, I'm not worried about getting another position in healthcare. Um, uh, I am a registered nurse. And being able to, you know, pick and choose. It may not always be the job that I want, but certainly I'll have a job. So that baseline is is clear. Um, But definitely, I would say, number one, 
you know, they can teach you things, but they can't teach you to care. Right. So being in healthcare, your first thought process is not the money. It's not the financial security. It has, has to be hard hard. that yes. It has to be that you have a caring heart and and that feeling of wanting to serve others. I can remember um, being a nurse during nine eleven, and I'm old. So as everybody was running home, I was running right. to work, and my family understood that that. Um, you know, we were in, and I was actually working in Washington D.C. then, and so the Pentagon had um, had happened, and um, so all the hospitals were alerted, even though I wasn't in that area. But all the hospitals were on alert, and they were teaching us how to be in those hazmat suits, and did, we were setting up hospitals um, outside for the mass casualties to being able to take care of people. So. Um, and then, so you can't really think about yourself in those moments, you know, and that you, you need to be able to um, think about how can I care for others? Um, and, you know, that was a dramatic um, yeah. story. Um, certainly life isn't that dramatic all the time, um, but definitely making sure that your heart's in the right place first. And then the technical aspects, you know, you wanna make sure you're good at what you do. Mm-hmm. Um, I say, we work with people in our shoes. You know, right. so not to say there's anything wrong working in a shoe store. I love, you know, shoe shopping. But when you're working with people, um, you know, mistakes can cost somebody's life. So you want to make sure that you are technically savvy, uh, those type of things, and that you're in a good program, that you feel supported, you know, that you have, you know, teachers around you that are going to look out for you, which I always had. And I would say that. The same type of program that is going to nurture you um, and help to grow you, uh, help to support you to find a job in the industry, in the part of healthcare that you want to be in. Because there's many parts, you know, mm-hmm. there's uh, um, you get your basic information down and then you want to make sure that um, you can grow from there. So tell everyone where they can find information about Greenleaf Healthcare. Yes, yes, yes. So um, can definitely go to our website, which is www.greenleafhcare.com. Uh, we have a variety of services, but well, the one we're talking about today is geriatric care management and home care. Last question. When you think about the woman you are today, what comes to mind? So growing and evolving. Um, stepping out on faith and taking the skills that I've developed over my years and making it work into my own business where I can do it the right way. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Sam Bay, for joining us on The Woman I Am today. Thank you so much for having Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Greetings, this is Tiombe Mohammed. I am your geriatric care manager, owner and CEO of Greenleaf Healthcare, which is a home care agency, but we are your one-stop shop for all things senior. So, geriatric care manager, what does that mean? So geriatric care managers are your personal nurse to lead you through the process of long-term care. So mom falls, she's in the hospital, they're like, well, you know, you need to go to a rehab agency. What does that mean? How do I figure out where I need to go? Geriatric care managers can help you through that process. If you live out of town and your mom is in North Carolina and you need to move her to Illinois, we do move management. We can help you with that. Also, being a home health care agency, if we determine that she has care needs past um, what you can handle, then we can send aides to your home so that she can be comfortable in her own surroundings. If you need to move to a facility, we can help with that too. We can make sure that the move to a facility is seamless. We have great relationships with all facilities throughout the area. We're in the Triangle Raleigh Durham area. We also have locations in Jacksonville, North Carolina as well. So down at the coast, we can take care of you as well. So friends, you don't have to go through this alone. We are here to help and support you through this process, taking care of mom, dad, me, mom, mud deer, 
is so important, Greenleaf Healthcare Agency. We want to help and support you with all things senior. Give us a call. Website, www.greenleafhcare.com. Again, this is Tiombe Mohammed, your geriatric care manager.